My name is Jasmine, and I'm a Leiaia Kids Junior Journalist. Today, I'm interviewing Dr. Benjamin, who works at the Harvey Mudd College. What I know about him is that he knows a lot of magic and that his math tricks are very cool. I'm Aaron, and I'm nine years old. Today, we are here at Arcadia to interview Dr. Benjamin. Dr. Benjamin is a math magician. Hi, my name is Sherilyn, and I'm a junior journalist, and I'm here to interview Dr. Benjamin. I'm very excited to interview him because I'm not very good at multiplication, and maybe he can help me with that. So why do we learn mathematics? Mathematics is the science of patterns, and we study it to learn how to think logically, critically, and creatively. But wouldn't it be great if every once in a while we did mathematics simply because it was fun or beautiful or because it excited the mind. Well, uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Art Benjamin, and I am a mathemagician. What that means is I combine my loves of math and magic to do something I call mathematics. Today is the date of my newest book, Magic of Math, Solving for X and Figuring Out Why. And it's, uh, and, and it's actually, its date X. of publication it's is today, September 8th. And, and the nice thing about books is you don't need electronics to, to read it. You know, you'll be able to read this 10 years from now, 100 years from now, without any technology. But we spend I do lots of hope time in the next year or two to have an app not that will teach people how to do, um, how to do mental the most math important as well. But I'm a big fan of books. Learning how to think question is how do you feel when people call you math whiz oh I like being yeah, I like being called a math whiz and um, uh, but I think I prefer to be called a math magician why do you like math? Why do I like math? Boy, I've always liked numbers. I like math because it's so beautiful and it's so logical and it's so consistent. I like the fact that you can do a problem lots of different ways and if you're careful, you'll always get the right answer. I think it is very important for memorization and math and how can you help kids who don't like memorization more. Memorizing things is not always a fun thing to do. There are ways you can make it fun. You can play games. You know the trick for multiplying by nine? So let me show you. Let's say you want to multiply nine times seven. Put down the seventh finger, and to the left of the seventh finger, you see six fingers, right? And to the right, you see three. And that's the answer, 63. So there are even ways Every to make the memorization of the math facts more fun and interesting. Sound. Even random looking numbers like the digits of pi and turn them into words. Words together and create silly sentences. My turtle Poncho will my love pick up my new mover ginger. Movie monkey plays in a favorite bucket. Tip my puppy Michael to Sullivan's back rubber. A long, long time ago, I can still remember how my math class used to make me snore. Because every number we would meet would terminate or just repeat. But maybe there were numbers that did more. But then my teacher said, I dare ya, to try to find the circle's area. Despite my every action, I couldn't find a fraction. I can't remember if I cried the more I tried or circumscribed. But something touched me deep inside the day I learned of pi. Oh, pi, pi, mathematical pi. Twice 11 over 7 is a mighty fine try. A good old fraction you may hope to supply, but the decimal expansion won't die. Decimal expansion won't die. Pi, pi, mathematical pi. 3.14159265358.9. A good old fraction you may hope to define, but the decimal expansion won't Die. Thank you. Thank you for watching the interview. We hope to see you next time. Bye.